How's it going, guys? It's Brad Sia. This is the, w the SummerSlam 2018 Match Card and Predictions video. The first big pay-per-view we've had since WrestleMania. One of the big four. So, yes, big match card. Got a lot of match card matches to go through in predictions, so let's get started with it. So, to start off, we have our kickoff matches. The first one is for the Raw Tag Team Championships. The bandwagon team, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, defend against Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder, the revival. Well, the bandwagon team is completely over with the fans, so... And they just, like, won the title, so I'll go I'll go bandwagon team to retain the Raw Tag Team titles. Next up, we got a mixed tag match. Rusev and Lana versus Andrade, Cien Alma, San Selena Vega. Uh, well, Andrade is supposed to be getting a big push coming up this year, starting after SummerSlam. So I'll go Andrade and Selena to win. Plus, it's also rumored that Rusev Day is supposed to be breaking up sometime this summer. It was, I think it was supposed to be at mm, Extreme Rules, but it hasn't really happened yet. But it's slowly starting to get there. But yeah. Um, next up, the final kickoff match is for the Cruiserweight Championship. Yes, the Cruiserweight Championship 205 Live. Cedric Alexander defends against Drew Gulak. So much for Cruiserweights being good, they're still on the goddamn pre-show. But hey, I say, you know what then, I guess give it time then. But anyway, for this match, uh, I think it's time for Cedric to drop the title. I'll go Drew Gulak to win. And become your new cruiserweight championship. But yeah, those are the kickoff slash pre-show matches. So yeah, thanks for playing, everybody. Now to the main card, to the matches that really matter. First one for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. The Bludgeon Brothers, Will Carper and Eric Rowan versus The New Day. Only two of the three members, which will it be this match? It's really hard to say. I'm going to go Bludgeon Brothers to retain. I don't see him dropping it anytime soon. So I'll go Bludgeon Brothers to retain the titles. Next up, we got a one-on-one -on -one match. We have Finn Balor versus Constable Baron Corbin. Like, Baron is just there. He's just a cheap ripoff of Corporate Kane. Back when the Authority was around from 2013 to 20 and 2014. And much of 2015. So I'm going to go Finn Bauer to win this match. So, and now next up, we have a tight, we have a match for the U.S. United States Championship. Shinsuke Nakamura defends against Jeff Hardy. I got Shinsuke retaining. Randy Orton's going to get involved in some way and cost Jeff Hardy the match. So, yeah, give me Nakamura retaining the United States title. Next up, the big mat, one of the big matches, the one-on-one -on -one match, a rivalry eight years in the making. Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. This is a really hard one. Will they give Daniel Bryan the win with his contract coming up next month as a good send-off? But it's also rumored that Miz is supposed to begin a big-time push, pot, gonna get pot, mainly to get the WWE Championship. There's even rumors about maybe the United States Championship, too. This is a hard one. Uh, I'm going to go Miz to win this match. I'll go Miz. I'll go Miz to win. Plus, the only real match these two really had was Night of Champions 2010. That was when Daniel Bryan was still a young rookie, when both Daniel and Miz were young. And Daniel won that match, so I'll go Miz to win this match. Next up, we have a triple threat match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Car Carmella defense against Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. Um, this is a good, interesting prediction I have here. I'm going to say there's going to be a heel turn. I'm going to say Becky Lynch will turn heel on Charlotte Flair. Becky will pin Charlotte to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. So I'm predicting Becky will win the match and Carmella won't even be involved in the decision. So yeah. I'll go Becky Lynch to turn heel and win the championship. Next up, we have a one-on-one -on -one match for the Aaron Connell Championship. Dolph Ziggler with Drew McIntyre in this corner. Defense against Seth Rollins. 
with Dean Ambrose in his corner. I got Ziggler retaining. I think Dean Ambrose is going to cost Seth Rollins the match because it's rumored that Seth that Dean is supposed to be turning heel for his return run. And it's going to start up the Seth Ro a Seth, another Seth Rollins Dean Ambrose feud. So I'll go Dolph to win and Dean to turn heel. Like there's a lot of heel turns coming up in this. Um next up, we have a one-on-one -on -one match. Mr. Monster in the Bank, Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens. And if Braun loses in any way, whether it be pin, submission, DQ, count out, etc., 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 Kevin Owens becomes Mr. Money in the Bank. If you've been keeping up with my reviews, you know where I'd stand with this. I got Strowman winning. No way in hell Braun cannot drop the briefcase to Owens. At the end of the day... You have to protect the integrity of the briefcase in the pay-per-view known as Money in the Bank. You gotta protect it. You gotta make it prestigious. You gotta make it valuable. The concept, the name itself, Money in the Bank sells itself. The Money in the Bank, an opportunity to change your career or revitalize it. Like, how do you do that when if when Braun wins it? Like if Braun. Like, if Braun wins the ladder, like, Braun won the ladder match and then drops it to Owens, then what was the point of Braun winning the ladder match? If they wanted Owens to be Mr. Money in the Bank, they should have let Owens win the ladder match. Like, it makes no sense. Like, I don't care what it sets up, it's dumb. Dumb is dumb. Alright, you gotta protect the integrity of Money in the Bank at the end of the day. Not just the briefcase, the pay-per-view itself, too. Got to protect everything it stands for. And you cannot afford a failed cash in like Baron Corbin. Because the man's briefcase took a very bad hit last year when Corbin failed to cash in. But remember, that cor failed Corbin cash in, we have John Cena to thank for that. So yeah, thank you, Cena. Go fuck yourself. So yeah, give me Strowman winning the match and keeping the Money in the Bank contract. So next up... We got a one-on-one -on -one match for the Raw Women's Championship. We got Alexa Bliss defending against Ronda Rousey. So, this is going to be an interesting one. The question is, is Ronda ready? Well, you know what? I think if you're going to have Ronda win at the title at any pay-per-view, it should for sure be at one of the big four pay-per-views, whether it be Mania, Royal Rumble... SummerSlam, or hell, even Survivor Series. So I'm going to go Ronda Rousey to win and become the new Raw Women's Champion. Like So far, I haven't even really predicted any real title changes. So I'll go Ronda Rousey to win the title. Next up, we got a one-on-one -on -one match for the WWE Championship. AJ Styles, hit the 10-month champion, defends against Samoa Joe. Reigniting an old feud from TNA and Reign of Honor. But somehow I Vince McMahon's going to shit on this feud. Because the roses are red, violets are blue. Vince McMahon will go full McMahon again. God damn it. But for this match itself... Well, AJ's supposed to be holding on to the title until, Wrestle, until 2K19 comes out. Since AJ's on the cover. So I'll go, and 2K19 doesn't come out till October. So I'll go AJ Styles to retain this WWE Championship. And finally, oh boy, we get to our main event. For the one-on-one -on -one match for the Universal Championship, Brock Lesnar defends against Roman Reigns. So yes, and so yes, if you pay attention to my Raw review, I told you the only way we the fans win. So, who do I have? Who do I have out of these two walking out as champion? The answer is neither. I'm predicting a money in the bank cash in. More specifically, Braun Strowman. I'm going to say Braun Strowman will cash in. Match will end on, in a triple threat. So it'll be like WrestleMania 31 when Seth Rollins cash in on Brock and Lesnar in the main event of Mania. And like Seth did, I'm going to say Braun will win and walk out the new Universal Champion. You know, Braun, Kevin, whoever holds that Money in the Bank contract. Now, what you can't afford is 
Well, here's the well, here's the thing with Kevin Owens. If Kevin Owens cashes in and loses, that well, people are gonna be there are gonna be a lot of pissed off people because that will really destroy Money in the Bank. Like if Owens gonna win Money in the Bank, the contract, then at least have him cash it in successfully. That's all I can say. But I'm gonna have to say Braun Strowman cashes in and will walk out Universal Champion. But yeah. Those are my Summer Slam predictions. Let me know what yours are in the comments section. If yours are different than mine. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Summer Slam review will be up probably next Monday. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope everyone's a great day and yeah, peace out.